Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. There's so much news and there's so much craziness going on about Dogecoin and I want to get you guys all up to speed to understand what's going on and how, you know, why and how Doge is rising so quickly. Well, first of all, let's start with saying uh, Dogecoin has definitely seen a really big increase in the last, you know, two days uh, with the dog father of Dogecoin, meaning Elon Musk saying he was going to go on SNL. And also finally as well, we have you know, the petition by Amazon to start accepting Dogecoin as a form of payment. I mean, look, when this petition started not too long ago, it didn't have a lot of people signing for it. But as we're talking right now, there's more and more people signing onto that petition. Excuse me, I'm so excited that I'm actually about to choke. More and more people are signing onto that petition and it's lo looking more likely that we can finally get the attention of Jeff Bezos. Now, if Amazon is to start accepting Dogecoin as a form of payment, you know that it's game over. Absolutely, you know that it's game over. This is the great time. You know, you know it's a game over because it will become much more mainstream than it is today. As a matter of fact, when you talk about people accepting payment, I'm sure you've already seen the news with Mark Cuban accepting Dogecoin as a form of payment with, um, you know, as a form of payment with the Dallas Mavericks. Now this gives, this alone gives Dogecoin a huge boost and as, it's not, you know, I'm not going to be surprised to see more and more people getting in. But there's something that I want to tell you guys though. I need you guys to be very careful to, with what's happening in Dogecoin. Personally, I'm not buying because I think the hype is too crazy and there's a lot of people who don't even know what they're doing jumping in. My current average cost is around 84 and as a matter of fact, a few weeks ago, I dumped a few just to pay off some, you know, some margin. So I would say if you're comfortable losing the money that you have, go ahead and put it in. But I have a strong feeling that, you know, if we take a look at the charts, I do have a strong feeling that we're going to have a pullback um, in a few days. Um, I don't think this is sustainable at all. I, I mean, in just a matter of two days, the price of Dogecoin has jumped over. What is it? Let's take a look and see what has jumped over. Let's go back to the coin market cap page. You know, in just in the last seven days, it's jumped by 54%. This is absolutely not sustainable at all. This is definitely not, you know, not going to be happening. But what you can also do is that if you want to jump into Dogecoin right now, I'd say don't put all your money in. Use the principle we call dollar cost averaging. Only put in a few and wait for the next dip or wait, wait for the next time that it goes up and just keep buying and keep buying your way out. And I can guarantee you that after a long period of time, you're going to be catching opportunities where it falls down and, you know, and, and, get, and allows you to buy again. Personally, another thing that I'm going to be doing is that I still think it's a little bit overvalued. There's a whole bunch of hype with it right now. And I'm just going to wait till it drops again before I buy. But, you know, finally, I just want to wrap up and say the Amazon petition news, God, is just holy moly. Um, yeah, it just, you know, people just keep signing and keep people keep signing. I think this is really what is driving the, the price of Dodge right now. Anyways, if you enjoy the value that I gave you in this video and enjoy Dodge related content, I'm going to be releasing tons and tons of Dodge content on this channel. So please make sure to subscribe, leave a like on the video and until the next one, peace.